Today I'm going to drive the state equation for a buck converter. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to describe the, how the circuit actually works. Um, in this example, um, you just have a, a, a voltage in source, which is ideal, and there's two switches which are complementary. complementary. So as one, one closes, one opens, and if the other one closes, the other one opens. And the inductor and capacitor, and then the resistor, which would be uh, like a load resistor, uh, which would create the output of the voltage um, converter as a V out. So how this operates is that uh, first the top switch closes, which uh, sends a current through the inductor. Which uh, charges a magnetic field up um, in this inductor, and it, the current goes through resistor and then um, charges up the capacitor as well, and then it goes back um, to the voltage source through the ground. So after a certain amount of time, usually a very small amount of time. Uh, the, the top switch actually opens and the bottom switch uh, closes. So when that happens, this voltage source is uh, effectively disconnected from the circuit and you still get a current flowing through the inductor because it, it tries to maintain current flow when uh, there's, there's a disruption in um, current flowing in. It tries to keep the same amount of current flowing. So. And yeah, what happens is that uh, current also flows through the capacitor and through the load resistor back back through that switch, which is closed. So it maintains the, the current. So this effect creates a, a smoothing effect on the voltage output. So this, if you look at uh, this point right here it would be looking like this for voltage at some uh, PWM percentage, just like that. And if you look at this node, it's going to be something like this. Uh, so it's a lot smoothed out than the input voltage. And what the voltage in versus voltage out, um, a buck converter is going to always uh, equal or um, be less than the input voltage. Uh, voltage out. It's going to be equal or less than the input voltage. When the uh, voltage is equal, that means it's a PLM percentage is at 100%. So if this is always closed, then this is going to create, um, if there's no resistive loss in the circuit, it's going to be the same um, output up voltages as, in, as input voltage, assuming there's no uh, series resistance right there to drop any um, voltage, because this inductor is going to saturate. And effectively, it'd just be a short circuit um, in a DC circuit. So for the uh, state equation derivation, you actually want to switch, uh, split the uh, converter into two parts, one with the top switch closed and one with the bottom switch closed only. And you'll sort of solve these uh, for the state equations in each circuit, in each circumstance. And then you can figure out what, where to include this uh, Q function at in the state equation. So we just start out with the left one, which is, assumes that the Q is equal to 1, which is the top switch closed and the bottom switch open. This is actually just to get, uh, to get sort of that whole switch. So you can see with uh, using KVL, you can solve this uh, loop. And using KCL, you'll be able to solve 
uh, the current flowing in and out of the capacitor, uh, which is I don't want to do three. Okay, so let's just solve this KVL first. So let's just zero equals Vn, and then this is a voltage drop across the inductor. So it is L. DIL TT and the voltage across the capacitor is just going to be VC and since the resistor is at the same uh, potential as the voltage across the capacitor we don't need to worry about um, keep including this in this including the resist output resistance in this equation just rearranging this you can get IL dot is one over L Vn minus Vc, so that's the first state equation. And the voltage cross capacitor is next, which we can solve with KCL out through the current going in and out of the capacitor. So we just say that uh, I3, the voltage, the current going into the capacitor, is equal to I1 minus I2, and I3 is uh, uh, the current differential, and I1 is the same as uh, voltage going through an inductor, so that's just IL, and I2 is voltage across the uh, resistor, which is voltage across capacitor over the resistance. And then you just get VC dot is one over C. So that's the second state equation for this side. It's right there and right there. And for the other one, this the voltage source is uh, just connected from the circuit, um, including the switch. So we can solve uh, K, KVL and, and this uh, loop equation, loop node, and we just do the same KCL for this node. I'll just define the uh, current going in, into the capacitor. So we just do zero. And this inductor is actually not a source, it's going to be negative. And the voltage capacitor is going to be negative also, because they're both uh, draining voltage. So you end up with this uh, pretty simple equation. So IL dot equals 1 over L, that's just VC. Let's put that in parentheses. And then the voltage cross uh, solving the KCL node, you have I3 equals I1 minus I2 again. And I3 is a C, 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 D, D. And I1 is going to be the same uh, voltage through the inductor, which is the same um, orientation as the previous circuit, and I2 is going to be the same also, voltage across capacitor over the resistor, so you end up with um, a C dot, a C, okay, so that's the second, second set of state equations done, so you can see that the voltage across capacitor on either circuit is exactly the same, and the voltage current, the current uh, differential in the inductor is different. The only difference is that the voltage in is included on this side, and the other side that's not included. So that's a that's a good candidate for um, including the Q value. So you can say this the final state equation for this uh, buck converter is going to be 
uh, IL dot is 1 over L and the Q function, which is just 1 or 0, depending on the switch state. That's why so you see. And this is just the same because it doesn't depend on where the switch state is for this example. So this is the state equation for a buck converter with a switch function, which could be either um, equal to one or zero. So that's it. And then you just, you can do a PLM on this Q and create a, a lower voltage than input or the same voltage. So I hope that was helpful. That's about all.